This is your daily glimpse of science. I'm glad that we finally found our host plant. When we began our lives as tiny little plants, we looked just like tapeworms. Sadly, we will never grow any leaves or roots. We just latch on to our hose and use our tiny tubes to extract water and nutrients. Just remember, our battle for survival is not over yet. We still need to eavesdrop on our hose to know when to flower. What do you mean by that? Let me ask you. Other flowering plants use their leaves to sense when the environment around them is ideal to flower. So how do parasite plants like us with no leaves know when to flower? Oh, I haven't thought that far yet. We absorb a protein called flowering locust tea, or FT, from our host and use it as a chemical signal to flower. By flowering in sync with our host, we maximize our growth and reproduction. That may be how plain parasite can use different trees as our host and can consist of over 100 different species around the world. The scientists have confirmed that daughter plants match their flowering times with their hosts. If we daughter plants flower too early, we can't grow as big. And if too late, our hosts may die and we will not have enough nutrients for flowering. I heard that when the researchers disabled a host FT gene in their lab, the daughter plants did not flower. But there are some cases when the Doppler plants flowered when their hosts did not. The researchers were thinking that the parasites might use other signals to flower. Biology is always so complicated. I'm just gonna focus on survival right now and leave the research for the scientists. The articles and news sources are in the description below. If you would like to see more of these videos, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you very much, and we hope you find your daily glimpse of science as interesting as we did.